Abandoned skyscrapers in downtown Los Angeles have become a canvas. Graffiti spray painted on window after window of the 30-story abandoned building. But the latest L.A. tourist attraction is proving to be problematic for the city and law enforcement, calling it a hazard, a safety concern, and trespassing. The Los Angeles police chief said it isn't art, it's a crime. City officials say people aren't just illegally climbing the skyscraper to spray paint, but video from a paraglider shows the high rise being used as a base to jump and parachute from. Now the city is dishing out millions to keep people out and clean the building up. The building has been an uphill battle for the city because of its owner, Hong Kong-based Oceanwide Holdings. The developer abandoned the building in 2019. Their plans for a plaza fell through. And according to a local councilman, it'll cost the city $2 billion to take control of the abandoned project and make something out of it given the building's condition. The city will pay to fence off the property and clean the graffiti. They wanted Oceanwide to handle it, but the developer did not respond to their immediate request, leaving the city council to approve funding up front, and a city attorney will try and recoup the money from Oceanwide. It's not only taxpayer money going toward the building debacle right now, but city resources are also being expended. The Los Angeles Police Department has spent more than 3,000 hours patrolling the site and are now patrolling 24 hours a day with heightened public interest and people now using the building for social media stunts. The department has arrested 18 people so far. The city is urging people to stay out.